Christmas Eve, we witnessed the advent of a miracle. It turned into a spectacle. And now, the journey is reaching its final destination. Welcome one and all to the last and final day of Ultimate Coco Season 2, powered by Indian Oil, where we have two cracker jack matches lined up for you. First up, obviously, is the third place playoff between the Odisha juggernauts, who were the first champions, taking on last season's finalist, Telugu Yoda. That's one by Telugu Yodhas and Chai's attack. Let's take a look at this Telugu Yodhas lineup. All eyes on Pratik Vaikar, Abdut Patil is there, Vasabe Kiran is there, Akash Togare, Prasad Radhe, Dhruv, Aditya Ganpole, Arun Gunki. If anything, they haven't been able to pull the might of the whole squad on a given day. That's what happened in that game versus the Chennai Quick Guns. All of them did come together on a day when Pratik Vaikar was roaring, and that's where the Quick Guns moved ahead into the finals. Here's a look at the four batches. The last time again, we'll tell you. Remember, if you're a team that's defending, you have a total of four batches of three players each. You have a turn of seven minutes to last on that mat. So the bronze beckons for the Odisha juggernauts or the Telugu Yodhas. Whoever the victors at least have some consolation on their side. Straight away, straight away making his way oh, for Nikhil Sodai. And with that diving effort, Sodai's stay on the mat has been cut short. He's gone for a review. Do you think this is an early rise? I don't think so. I genuinely don't think so. Remember, as soon as you get that tag... My dear friend, my dear friend, I am going to stop talking. Have you met your match as the turn and Pratik Vyakar gets a 68 point of UKK Season 2 powered by Indian Oil. Remember when you have two Vazirs, that's your time to make sure you get rid of those defenders as quickly as possible. Rahul Mandal now getting rid of Dilip, can't be no change of direction. Four points now to the Yodhas. Yeah, Rahul Mandal, the third player to have 50 plus points throughout the season. As we gear towards the first ever charge up your vocal cords, Arjun Pandit, it's your time to shine. Dream finger towards the crowd and garners appreciation as he charges down towards yet another dream run and he's dismissed as Arjun was singing his song that's the end of the first batch but not before they've done their job they've done a minute 30 wow only 127 remaining now for this turn. The Yodhas have only racked up six points now. All three players of this batch are still on the mat. Finally, Avinash, dodgy man, they sign. His time on the mat has come to an end. Beautifully, beautifully using the central line. You said it perfectly. 45 seconds, oh, that's a walk in the park. And he seems like he's enjoying that walk in the park. Full of birds and fresh trees and the scent of a wonderful start for the Odisha juggernauts. All of 10 to 3. Three dream run points. But that was not the highlight. When we talk about defensive masterclasses, take a bow, Avinash, dodge man. 10-3 to the Yodhas. It's of course been a turn where the juggernauts will want to celebrate. Batch number one for the Yodhas, comprising of Pratik Vaikar, Abdul Patil and Aditya Ganpale, which is why the Indian Oil power play has been taken. There are those days when two players are performing and then the whole entire team is not catching up. And on another day, two other players are performing. So it's not been a combined effort for the Yodhas. They really need to pull through now. But right now, his duty is something else. He's going to exercise his vocal cords because Ganpale Jr. is going to complete a... Dream roll! It's engine like that that helps you going on another dream run coming in for the Yodhas and the Yodhas are doing to the juggernauts what batch number one did to them. 
the Odisha juggernauts have not been very good in an attacking sense. So if Gunpule Jr. and Abdul Bhattal can pile up the numbers right now, it could only help them later on as finally he runs out of gas but he asks for the review. Is a part of his body grazing the centre line in the follow through? Is it? Is it? Is it? It is! This is one of those subjective moments, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it definitely is, my friend. The follow through. He's out. He's been given out. Because the touch and the second step, the one after the touch, did not infringe on the central lead while giving the call. And that is the difference. But Abdul Patel can file on the misery. He stacked up another. Dwindra! Good part, he'll pile it on. No, 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 no. Out foxed. Out thought at that moment. The pocket rocket didn't even have to switch on his ignition to get him out. Webhug, Manoj Kumar making sure he went to go for the kill. Only to slip at that very crucial moment. Avinash Desai is saying he's got it. He's got him. The referee doesn't concur, so he's gone for the review. Yeah, Vinash Dodge man, this I, your grimace is an expression to behold because you know what you did wrong. Less than 30 now, still leading the Telugu Yodhas. How often do we see that? Now, that lead is down to one point. Prem Randive coming in harm's way, walking into harm's way. Sent back now. The job is left now for Arun Gunki to finish it off. Less than 10 seconds remaining. Can he do that? Can he help the Yodhas take a one-point lead going into the second innings? Well, it looks like it is. It looks like it remained like that. As the Yodhas finish innings one with a 14-13 lead. At the end of the first innings, two turns have taken, taken place right now. It's the Yodhas that are leading 14-13. Defensive masterclasses from both the teams. Yeah, Mirajul, Manoj, Patil and Vishal have started things off here as Rudra tries to get the better of Miraj. I'm somewhat surprised uh, Dipesh More's batch hasn't come in to start things off as Miraj is stuck. And Rahul Mandal takes a blow to his knee as he serves a telling blow to the Odisha juggernauts. Both the brothers showing what they do, what, they, what they're capable of. And both the brothers part of title contending squads. Manoj Patil now sending kisses to Rudra knowing that there was a change in direction and so he continues and Manoj Patil gives you another dodge. Another dodge. And that Vishal piles on the points right now. They're heavily reliant on him. Dream roll! As Dhruv takes to the sky but has a change of direction. Vishal, you're completing the stuff of dreams, aren't you? Yep, another dream run. Four minutes done now. Three defensive points in the process for the juggernaut. That lead now down to two. The Yodhas very quickly now need to get rid of Vishal. They've got no other option. They need to make sure that they're heading to turn four with a lead of at least 10 or 12 points. Dhruv, has he got him? He's saying he's got him. Skydiver has been given and finally Vishal has been sent packing but not before making sure that the Yodhas were chasing them and the entire batch for 4 minutes 24 seconds. It's a combination of the entire players that then from an attacking point of view that needs to get you those tags. You can't just rely on those two players. It gets a little predictable then. Webhub turns on the pace and gets the touch. That's bye-bye, Nikhil. And they pace more too, but we hope he's all right because he took a tumble. All you need to do is make sure you last a minute now on the mat. It's not easier. It's not that easy. Viker has you within his range. Viker's got you. Viker's got you. He's saying go for the review. The knees unfold. Viker takes a lift prior to getting the core. And the send off that Vaikar game, Omkar Sunagre, has ended up in blushes instead. There are just three seconds left. 
two. And that's that. A little reprieve, courtesy and early rise of foul by Pratik Vaikar, but Omkar Sonavani survives. The Yodha has taken an eight-point lead going into turn four. The windmill plays one more time to our Ramesh. It is the Indian oil power play. This is the last turn, the decisive turn, an eight point lead for the Yodhas. And I don't mind this as Dhruv is dismissed within the first 10 seconds. Now, Dhruv, are you posing for a selfie, my friend? <laughs> Have you put the stop clock on, my friend? What were you doing there? Avinash Dodgeman Desai is also a nominee now for the film fair for the best actor. Yep, and it looks like that's happening. Oh! Oh gosh, Togare! I can't believe my eyes! I was getting ready to say he's a goner, but then came this! Whoa! He's got a part of his head. He's got a part of his head. They had the review. They didn't take the review. I don't know which one was better. As this time around, Mirage turns into reality. Togare departs. Dilip Khan returning on the chase. Quick cause, early rises. 30 seconds left. No, not anymore. There was nothing left in the tank for Rahul Mandan. The third place that these two teams are fighting for with such vigor. Milan Shavrekar was the one who lifted the trophy for the Juggernauts last time. Omkar Sunavani versus Prasad Radhe. This time he's caught. This time he's gone. And now it's down to the former captain of the Odisha Juggernauts. All he has to do is last everything because now the Juggernauts are in the lead. Yeah, you need to get that dream run point now. How crucial would that dream run point be now? It's a 26-24 game. 26-24, the Juggernauts leading by two points. 142 done by this batch. Shavrekar now, it looks like he's a goner. Survives that scare. Still continues. 2.30 remaining for this game. Shabrekar and company have done close to two minutes. Milan Shabrekar still continuing. They are asking for a dismissal. They have gotten the dismissal. The Yodas don't have a review left. This is final confirmation. You may not have won the ultimate prize. But you have something to smile about. And one more time in a playoff game, the Yodhas fall to the Odisha Juggernauts. Go, Pratik Vaikar. That's the last time we see him. And what an anticlimactic way for him to exit this season of Ultimate Coco Power by Indian Oil. Finally, finally I'm having some impact on you, my friend. Less than six seconds remaining for both these two sides. Less than two seconds remaining for the end of the campaign for these two teams as the Odisha Juggernauts end their campaign by an eight-point win over the Telugu Yodhas. Win third spot in Ultimate Coco Season 2 powered by Indian Oil. And hear that noise. They are celebrating. Happy faces for the Odisha Juggernauts. 32-24, they are the victors. They win by eight points in this fiery clash and they finish in third place. Yes, they couldn't defend their crowd, but at least they have something to take home.